If you guys are looking to buy or sell Madden coins, be sure to head on over to MrMuckCoin.com. Use code Ryan as your promo code at checkout and you'll get 15% off your order. Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Madden 20 Ultimate Team video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing the very first Market Monday. Didn't make one last week because, you know, I was still trying to work out some methods and whatnot of what I've been wanting to do uh, for a video, but... Uh, we do have one of the best teams that you can have right now currently. Uh, there are some players that I am missing. Like, I could have like an 80, you know, 8 or 87 overall center. I don't really want that card, though. I don't really like it that much. I could have John Randall, which is something I'm working on getting right now. Um, but pretty much why I'm showing you guys the team, why I'm showing you guys, you know, the coins and whatnot, is because I want to let you guys know how I've accomplished this, uh, you know, start. To my Madden 20, uh, you know, career, I guess you would call it. Um, usually, you know, I have a decent amount of coins. I mean, you can go back at my videos uh, at the beginning of other Madden Ultimate Team uh, video games, and you know, I'll have a decent amount of coins, maybe like two mil at the max. You know, kind of, you know, a week or so into the game, but now it's ridiculous. We got six mil. We got an 89 overall team. You know, one of the best uh, teams you can have in the game. Uh, you know, John Madden. We got the uh, you know, Chiefs passing for uh, Patrick Mahomes. We have a whole ton of training. Now you guys are going to wonder how in the world I've accomplished this. Now this is not going to be anything that you guys haven't heard. It's just dialed up to the extreme. By what I mean by dialed up to the extreme is I've done pretty much nothing else but play Madden for the past, I would say like two weeks. I've done nothing else but play Madden. You know, I wake up take a shower, get some food, get on Madden, do my grinding, get my coins up. And that's pretty much my philosophy this year is make as many coins as I can, get the best cards that I can, and, you know, just have fun. You know, I wanted to actually take this Madden seriously. Now, what in the world could I be doing? Well, you guys have seen my videos in the past on this game talking about how I like to open up get a gold player packs. Now, yes, get a gold player packs for the most part, are all luck based there's really nothing you could say other than you know i go in with 50k i get all golds i lost maybe you know 30k and it's you know all those coins are down the drain well my philosophy this year is okay i lost all those coins how can i make them back and you know i'm not going to stop until i make those coins back and more you know on top of that so right here i'm showing you guys a you know clip of me getting nothing and get a gold player packs. Like, I got nothing. I got all golds, nothing. And what I do with these most of the time is I will actually go ahead and go into the exchange sets. And I will exchange them for higher tier gold cards. Or I'll exchange them for elite cards. And with those, I'll turn it into training. I'll sell them. You know, I'll pull, uh, I'll pull like flashback packs. I'll pull... Uh, heavyweight packs. I'll do anything I can to try to make those coins back. Now, inside of the sets, this exchange set is going to be your best friend. This year, power-up cards are extremely valuable in, you know, the right, if you had to get the, like, the right player. Like, if you get, like, a Khalil Mack, if you get, like, a Von Miller, if you get, um, you know, Jalen Ramsey, Deion Jones, there's so many good power-ups. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, Tyreek Hill, there's so many different ways to make you know, coins in this game using exchange sets. This is pretty much what I sit here and do almost all day is I'll buy cards off the auction, I'll do exchanges, I'll get power-ups, I'll sell those power-ups, and I'll rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. I keep a track either in my head or on a notepad of how many coins I'm spending on the set, what I'm making back out of the set. What I do is this all day long. Uh, could you say I have like no life? Well, I'm actually trying to take this seriously this year and make some videos and have some fun and help you guys out. So yeah, pretty much I don't have a life outside of, you know, doing what I'm doing on Madden, but if it's helping out the community and it's helping me have fun and, you know, making me feel some sort of self-accomplishment of having like the best team you can and, you know, the amount of coins that I have, then, you know, you know, I'm having fun. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not bragging about it, despite what you guys may think, um, I'm not bragging that I have the best team. I'm not bragging that I have, you know, 7 million coins. I'm just more so letting you guys know what I do and how you guys can replicate what I do. Um, so, you know, from the training that I had left over, you know, pretty much there is a method here. 
that you guys can use, and it's kind of still working as of right now. Uh, but I feel like if I tell you guys, it's just not going to work anymore at all. But I guess, you know, why not? Uh, so what you guys have seen me do right there, uh, you know, pulling a flashback, or I'm sorry, a heavyweight pack, and getting a Joey Bosa that sells for 108,000 coins, if you guys take that method of using training to rip, you know, the heavyweights or the flashbacks, whichever one you choose, you could actually come up with a really cool method of making coins. And I actually show you guys that here right after I show you guys a power-up set have value. Uh, so I do want you guys to know that there are, like I said, power-ups that do have a lot of value um, in terms of coins and, you know, people wanting them really badly to power up their best players. Uh, so just pretty much think of any player that's, like, super high overall or players that, you know, a lot of people love, like Jalen Ramsey, um, Earl Thomas, uh, you know, even the uh, limited time legends. You know, if you guys do those solos and then hold on to it for a while, um, you know, you'll have tons of coins sitting in your binder. If you, like, for example, like the John Randall power-up is, um, I think, like, 30K right now, and you could... When the solos were out to get him, I think his power up was only going for like 4k for a while. You could have stocked up like I did, you know, got a whole ton of them and sold them, cranked them out for like 30k a piece. Um, so I'll definitely try to do that from now on. Is like anytime a limited time legend comes out, you know, buy his power up, uh, buy a couple of his power ups, and you know, just hold on to them and wait like a week, and they'll probably go back up. So right there, you're seeing Khalil Mack, you're seeing. You know, Von Miller, they're all going for like 30K. There's Sean Randall currently going for 31K. And I really like to just have it, uh, you know, filtered to newest. You know, you never know when, um, you know, you never know when there's going to be someone that puts something up for cheap and you can, you know, buy it and flip it. Uh, so sometimes, you know, I'll be searching this up or whatever and I'll, you know, I'll see like a John Randall for like 10K and I'll buy it and I'll flip it for like a 20K profit. And, uh, you know, I'll just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going and whatnot um but yeah power ups definitely like i said do those exchange sets and through the exchange sets you can actually make coins pretty well so here are my auctions this is what i was talking about a little bit ago you could see that i've sold a whole ton a whole ton this is just within the last couple of days a whole ton of these heavyweight cards like a whole bunch now like i said me releasing this method it might ruin this and you know more than likely it will ruin it and you know i would definitely do it while you can um but pretty much what i was doing is i was buying you know 288 overall players you, you do need to have coins you need to have at least i do believe like 300k uh to do this method um you basically what you do is you buy 288 overall cards you quick sell them uh that'll leave you with enough training like very very close if you have no training at all it'll leave you so close to being able to rip three of the heavyweight packs uh pretty much what i do is i just you know get a you know 88 quick sell it get another 88 quick sell it and then you know just use like gold cards or whatever else i have in my binder and get the extra like 30 or so training you need or whatever it is and i rip three heavyweight packs and with those heavyweight packs what i get out of the heavyweight packs usually like a joey bosa maybe i get like a lane johnson and even if you get like a yannick and gakwe um or like a kenny clark uh, you're making more coins ripping three of those heavyweight packs than you are buying the 288s and quick selling them. So, you know, let's say it costs like 300K, not even 300K. Let's say it costs like 280K to buy, you know, 288 overall cards is what I'm showing you guys right here uh, when I get to it. I'm on the 90 to the 91 right now showing you guys, you know, filters and whatnot that you can use a snipe. Uh, if you buy 288 overall cards, again, like I said, for, uh, you know, 280,000 coins, then um once you rip those three flashback cards you might get you know like a joey bosa which is like 108 uh you might get um elaine johnson which is like 140k right now i believe uh and then even if you get like a yannick and gakwe which is like 80k you're still making a profit like you're still making more than what you spent to get those cards now i was having stretches where i would get you know three joey bosas in a row you know, making easy like 320, 340k while only spending 200, you know, maybe even 250, 275k. And I was doing it over and over and over again and making a profit every single time. So, what I'm doing basically to make coins is pretty much what other people do to make coins, just at a super high extreme level. 
you know, I'll rip these heavyweight packs. I'll rip the flashback packs. I'll make training. I'll rip get a gold player packs. If I don't get anything out of those packs, I'll, you know, rinse, repeat, quick sell, you know, cards that I have in my binder, get some training, you know, just ramped up to the extreme. Now, I did get lucky at the beginning of the year where I got a limited time pool. I got a, you know, bunch of different elite pools, and I already had like a million coins to work with. So if you don't have a lot of coins to work with, you can't really do all these methods until you build up your coins. I would suggest playing solos. I would suggest, um, you know, maybe even spend, you know, spending a little bit of money on the game, trying to get a couple of, you know, cards you could sell for coins, and then you could start doing the methods that I do. Um, but it's not really anything crazy. Like I've just been playing a whole ton of Madden and using those methods. Uh, to the extreme and if you guys want even more like details and stuff maybe i'll do a live stream for like an hour or two and you could see how many coins i make in that hour or two and you'd be like okay i'm starting to understand you could definitely sit there and just use up your time and make coins that way that's pretty much what i've been doing so if you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys are going to use the methods definitely let me know down below uh, leave the video a like comment down below and i'll catch you guys later peace